Welcome back everyone. So today I am going to be doing a full rundown on my Subi. I get this request a lot on a lot of questions. So first I'll wash it and then I'm going to get some buddies to come and help me and uh, get the rest of it. Alright, so welcome back everyone. I am doing a full rundown on my Subi from head to toe on all my mods. Uh, this video is actually brought to you by AVO Turbo World. Um, not paid for, but just because I've actually got a lot of stuff on their car, like on my car, um, that I have purchased with them. Mine is just a two liter um, hatchback. It's not a S or anything, it is just a base. Um, I didn't bother with any of the others because, um, well, I knew I was gonna modify it and make it the way I wanted to. I have changed my headlights to the Series 2 lights, uh, the non HID version, because I just wanted the black inserts um, but still keep them road legal because they're still the factory OEM light. Also at the front, I have got the Cyber R grill. Um, came from Japan. Uh, I actually bought this blindly. I didn't know what it was going to look like. I just took a gamble on it. Um, in terms of getting one, I actually had, well, I have a few contacts in Japan that got it for me. Um, my carbon kit is all, lip kit is from Charge Speed, the bottom line kit. Um, I am using the Grimspeed WRX number plate relocation. Uh, that there I had to modify to fit because uh, it's not designed for this bumper bar and I bought it before they actually did have something for this car. So in terms of engine mods while I'm still at the front of the car, I am running the AVO Turbo World uh, Stage 3 kit now. Um, it runs at 1849 turbo. The exhaust manifold is stainless um, and it is purge welded to the cast outlet on the uh, turbo. So that way it won't crack um, in terms of the welds or anything like that. Um, I'm running the AVO pod filter. It is different to the NA kit because the NA kit obviously is slightly routed differently. I was running the same pod filter and adapter for the NA, which did work as well. Um, I just had to muck around with the bracketing and stuff to make it work on this. Uh, AVO blower valve, um, which is also adjustable. I took off the blank off plate just so I can have a bit of turbo noise. Um, AVO catch can, which I mounted down low under the brake booster. That is for the WRX, um, which I got which I made up to make it work for this. Uh, the oil pump that returns the oil from the turbo back to the engine. It's an aviation grade turbo works oil pump. Um, what else do I have? And in terms of fuel injection, I was running the standard injectors up until stage three when I wanted to up the boost to eight and a half pounds. Um, it's running the 550cc injectors now. In terms of power figures, it's now making about 138 kilowatts um, on eight and a half pounds of boost. I did a rough zero to 100, which I won't be putting in the video, but I have tested this. A rough zero to 100 is about seven to eight seconds. I know stock is about nine, and I know a WRX is about six point something, and this was kind of in between that seven to eight mark, depending on how hard I wanted to launch it. So it has that potential. Also running the Cusco strop brace and brake booster support. It's all AVO intercooler. Um, it's a two and a half inch thick cooler. It's a bar and plate designed and also by AVO. Um, it's all tucked away. Even the turbo is down low and tucked away. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. 
if it's also running the silicon pipes which are all wire reinforced as well so it's actually structurally it's not going to suck itself in so there's no yeah there's actually it takes a bit of force to actually to kind of squeeze them which even then i still can't get much flex on it i also added a little sti strut brace battery clamp next i'll talk about the wheels i'm running the raised 57 extremes they're 18 by nine and a half inch and i think it's a 38 offset if i remember correctly um, i'm running a 245 tire uh, by 40 um, it's a yokohama 8008 uh, semis or street semis uh, no spaces nothing like that I am also running the 04 WRX calipers with the AVO dog bone adapter for their big brake upgrade kit, running the STI size 330mm rotor. The standard front rotor is 277, which I've obviously gone all the way up to 330. I'm also running the Goodridge uh, braided brake lines all around. Uh, I forgot what pads I'm running in the, on these calipers. Uh, but I think they were like type axis pads from Japan. In terms of suspension, I am running the BC coilovers from the 08 WRX. I also have some AVO stabilizers on the rear, plus some, I've got some AVO, I've got the AVO uh, sway bar end links and D bushes. Um, still the standard sway bars front and rear. And I also have the Super Pro lower control arms on, or the rear lateral arms for the extra camber adjustment. Still running the charge speed bottom line kit from the side and the rear. I've got the 2015-16 STI rear diffuser, which I got that to fit with the AVO turbo back exhaust as well. It's a two and a half inch exhaust. Uh, still running the resonator and still running the rear muffler. The reason why I stuck with a two and a half inch is because I didn't really care for the whole three inch and the whole being loud factor. I just wanted it to sound nice. So I'll do a quick exhaust video uh, to add into this. Tail lights, I don't know the brand. I bought them from a shop that's actually local to uh, where I live. I saw them, so I ended up buying them. The rear wing, the rear wing is the standard uh, Impreza option wing from Subaru. That was, and then the shark fin, which I actually got from Subaru as a defect. It had a scratch on it and I got a friend to paint it. It's actually from the My17, so it's actually not even from this generation of Impreza, but it still fit. Um, also to the rear fog light, the rear fog light is from Charge Speed, it's their F1 style light. Uh, the F1 style light where even like it blinks, but I didn't adjust, I didn't want the brake, uh, the brake blinker. Also to, from the rear, I'm running the rear Cusco Strop Race as well. Um, and I've got them on the quick releases just so it's easier if I needed to access the spare wheel. So now for the interior. Oh yeah, you guys are in America. It's right hand drive. So, right hand drive. Uh, I've got the Lavorg dash trims from the, in the piano black. Running the My15 Plus STI gear knobs with the My15 STI interior. So I'm running the base seats because I wanted the Alcantara over the leather. Also in here, I am running the My15 STI steering wheel, running the STI airbag as well, because it all came in one piece. I had to switch my Impreza buttons over with the STI covers just so it all blended in nicely. Uh, so these are the Impreza buttons with the STI covers. Another Lavorg dash trim on the driver's side as well to match with the AVO throttle controller as well um, to give you that little bit of throttle response with the uh, electronic throttle body or the fly-by-wire. The throttle controller itself, I get multiple adjustments on throttle response, nine being the highest and the most sensitive. I can go back to standard, 
and there's an off-road option for a lower torque setting. So with a standard, I will only give it a bit of a blip and it is quite delayed. When I bump it back up to say nine, as you can see, it's just, it actually is a lot more responsive. This thing is plug in and play, which was very convenient, uh, made it so much more easier. STI stuff doesn't stop there. I also have STI pedals, genuine as well. Um, and as well as the floor mats. Everything on this actually bolted in. I didn't have to modify anything to make it work. So in terms of all the STI and Subaru stuff, they all just bolted up straight up. Um, gauges, I just got some just to monitor all my turbo, once I did all my turbo kit, just to make sure. Nothing too crazy. Um, just your oil temp, water temp, and oil pressure. And I got my boost gauge hidden down low. Um, and next to the boost gauge, which I never really mounted, is my Innovate uh, air fuel ratio gauge. Also too, I do have a knock light from Link, just to monitor again. Never, never hurts to have some safety to monitor your engine, um, especially once you start modifying. Uh, shifter, so in terms of my shifter, I am running a um, Perrin short shift kit, uh, which is just the offset adapter Offset adapter, the bush and the shift selector, like the adjustment holder on the side. So with the rear seats, these are the full leather. I know they don't entirely match with the Alcantara and all, but these are actually still the STI seats from the Foresters. The Forester ones actually bolted up perfectly, uh, where the sedan one probably would have gave me a little bit of grief because they don't actually fall down where the Forester ones still do. So I still keep that practicality out of it. So we'll get a few shots in whilst I'm here. So thanks for watching everyone. I will have a, um, AVO did give me a discount code, a 10% off discount code, um, which I will add in, um, in the video. So yeah, AVO will give out a 10% discount um, for people who type in the code um, on any purchases from their website. If you wanted to talk to them directly and still recommend uh, that with the code, uh, that should work too. Uh, you would have to contact AVO directly on that. Um, which they already are aware of anyways. Oh, good parking. It's like right on that crack on the line, on the concrete. So, yeah, so AVO, in terms of support for, I got a question on this on Facebook with long tail users, AVO will always support the customers um, that actually have purchased things from them doesn't matter if it's short term or long term, they will always have that uh, support uh, for their customers. Um, so you don't have to worry about that. If you have any questions and run into any issues, um, they will always, <laughs> right. they, will, they will always um, be there to help out. Uh, they are pretty quick on response from what I've been working with um, on them. Um, they have looked after me a lot, obviously, as you can see with the amount of stuff that I bought from them on my car. Um, but it's not the only thing that they're good with. I've always, I've known them for a very long time. Uh, they have always been really good to work with. So, look, thanks for watching everyone. Um, I'll probably add some photos and stuff into this video, just as I'm doing. Um, if you really like this, uh, if you wanna see more, let me know, um, because I can always do more with these kind of things, like with cars and bikes.
uh, taking them out and getting videos and explaining and whatnot. Um, be sure to like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll go leave a comment below if you have any more questions. And I'll see you in the next one.